Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for all things Charleston and beyond. I'm Ashley Mazurby. So despite being a hometown girl, I still have so much to learn about the low country. And today I hope you're ready to do just that as we chat with the Maritime Association of South Carolina, an organization which supports, advocates and promotes an industry known for being one of the largest economic drivers in the state. Joining us today, we have Anna Teese and we also have Heather Homequest. They both are with the Maritime Association of South Carolina. Thank you both for coming out in the heat and talking with me today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. All right, first off, for the folks at home who have no idea what you do, tell us what is the Maritime Association of South Carolina? The Maritime Association of South Carolina is a trade-based or member-based trade association. It's a 501c6. We have approximately 250 member companies across the supply chain. So that is largely shipping, trucking, and rail, but it's also anybody that moves or touches freight. It's law, insurance, it is banks, it's anybody who touches logistics in some way. Do you, is it big, big companies or do you do smaller companies? Do you help a wide range? We have a combination of everyone. So we have a lot of family owned businesses. We have small mom and pop shops. We have large nationwide mm -hmm. companies that are headquartered either here or elsewhere. We've got pr a pretty wide demographic. Okay. And Anna, talk about like what your priorities are and, or your vision is as far as this year and beyond. Sure, really our priorities and our initiatives stem from the needs of our members. Mm -hmm. So one of the biggest things that was brought to our attention was the shortage in labor. So the Seems workforce to be a problem. <laughs> oh yeah. So we're just doing anything we can to help advocate for positions in our industry and it's not always what you think they are, which mm -hmm. is the cool part. So it's folks like you and I that are part of the industry. Welcome to Maritime. We have folks like us. We have a big need for a lot of the trades. So, you know, the diesel mechanics, welders, forklift mm -hmm. drivers, logistics is oftentimes so siloed into just one function or into one industry when really the Maritime industry can use all of those folks as well. So we're looking for great people all over. And as far as training and stuff, if people were saying to themselves, you know what, I might look into that and maybe make a career change. The, right. the unique part about it is a lot of these companies have the training available on site. So if you have the will to work, you have a great attitude and you want to learn about an industry that is really one of the biggest economic drivers in our state, exactly. this is an industry for you. Don't, don't get scared away by, you know, you see a giant steamship and it seems so far away. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's right here in our, in our hometown. Our backyard, right? That's right. Um, and as you were saying, you were looking for people with skills in like welding, right? So CDL drivers for okay. um, within trucking, we're looking for welders. Mm -hmm. So MIG TIG welders are definitely necessary. Um, diesel mechanics, administrative roles, mm -hmm. truck drivers, management, so mid-level supervisors. I mean, it's all a need out there. We need people in these roles. Have you just seen a huge growth over the years? Like as Charleston becomes more and more, you know, of a destination and things like that. I mean, I've, is it busier now than ever? It's, it's partially, but it's more that we're one of the largest ports in the U.S. And so we're okay. in the top 10. Mm -hmm. And so we move, that's, that's pretty significant. And so port from port related industries, not just maritime association impact, but we impact one in every 11 jobs in the state. Mm -hmm. These are some of the highest paying. Uh, a lot of people can come into these jobs without having the debt of a post-secondary education. Which is huge. And right you can there. make it, you can really make an incredible living doing this. And companies right now need the labor so badly they're offering really significant sign-on bonuses and the training like we mentioned. And I'm finding that it's, there are a lot of family owned businesses and things like that. It, so it's not this big, more than you can handle industry. There's like a a kind of bond create. between them, right? Yeah, it's kind of create your own experience. Yeah. If you want to have that very corporate Fortune 500 kind of feel, you can find that. You know, mm -hmm. these these companies are all around the world, but also these mom and pops have a beauty to them too because you get that personalized mm -hmm. training, you get the paid vacations, you get that sense of the community. The benefits and stuff like that. Absolutely, and being mm -hmm. able to be involved in associations like ours and others in the area that really help promote their growth and development as well. So the the no, I would say hurdles or, you know, your initiatives as far as the labor is concerned. Is that an industry-wide 
concern? The labor shortage yeah. is an industry-wide concern because we've for to get product to your door, mm -hmm. which I'm and I am probably Amazon's. Number one and I was just thinking that I was like, I bet you Amazon yeah. is up in this mix. So oh. Yeah, and everything that comes to your door. So y'all really mile, are it has to get to by truck, and right. so when our we've got our truck drivers aging out. Mm -hmm. We don't have the new ones coming in, so long-term impact is you're not going to get the product that you ordered. And no one likes that because yeah. I do Prime to get it earlier, so I love that. Okay, is there anything else the folks at home need to know about you know what you do here and how to support? For us, aside from the, the workforce shortage and some other areas that we're trying to provide education around, we're really a tool for business development. And so if you're in logistics um, in some way and you're coming into Charleston for the first time, we're a great tool for networking. We have a lot of events that we do. We, um, we say come join our family because it really does have that feel. Anything that touches freight, we all it's a supply chain we all touch. And so having a forum where we can all come together and get to know each other and, and offer business leads back mm -hmm. and forth or create those relationships, we're usually the first place that people come to for that. And as far as like the members, I mean, it's a great place for them to learn from each other, grow, Absolutely. evolve, and things like that. What, do, what have you been doing to solve this problem and things like that? So exactly. It's conversations open, yeah. which is great. Alrighty, is there anything else we need to know before we head out today? I'd say follow our hashtag, Anchored in SC. And also, come join our industry, come join our family. Alrighty, y'all are all over the place, right? All right, well, thank you both again for having us. And for more information, of course, you can go online to maritimesc.org.